Hey guys, Steve from Mostly Snakes. I uh, got a really cool video for you guys today. We're going to do a product review. Uh, this is TGR Rack Systems introduction line of enclosures. They're kind of new to the enclosure industry and there's been a lot of people hounding them, including myself, uh, to start building enclosures. They do a phenomenal job on rack systems. Uh, so if you need either or, give them a call. Uh, at the expense of TGR, we are going to include a link to their company in the description and also going to give you a discount code to uh, get you 5% off any order. But uh, what I want to, want to do here is give you a good close look at their, at their product and let you decide whether or not they stand above uh, the other systems, uh, American or Animal Plastics, Reptile Basics, uh, Boophile. There are several companies out there. One of the key things that I really like about the TGRs, first and foremost, if you call Animal Plastics, you're looking at 12 to 16 weeks to get your your product in. Now, with that said, when it does come in, you got to put it together. Boophile, I've got some boophiles. I'm not real crazy about them. They are kind of different. They seem to be a lot, uh, they use thinner of the, of the plastic. They're a little bit flimsier. I'm not real crazy about boophile. Reptile Basics, uh, basically about the same thing with a, a few differences. They do ship uh, assembled so you're going to be paying for the freight but uh, you also have to do the silicone to waterproof it once you get it same with animal plastics they'll send you a tube of your waterproofing and you go ahead and silicone it and take care of it yourself after you've got it put together so what makes TGR enclosures stand out I really like them I like what I see so far there's going to be a few things that really stand out to me. First and foremost, all of the cuts made on this plastic are done by a CNC machine and they're precise. I've got a lot of these enclosures in the back behind these that every one of them is different. Uh, I've got some that are 23 and three quarter. I got some that are 24 and an eighth. And it's just when you got OCD like me, and they don't fit together quite like they're supposed to. It gets on my nerves, man. But anyway, with that said, with the CNC machine, he can also do the engraving on the back. He's eventually going to put to where he can custom customize your back panel with either your company name, uh, logo, or hell, even your snake's name, which I think would be really cool. But as for right now, he's got his company, uh, TGR, routed on the back. The logos on either side, which is the tall grass reptile logo is tall grass. Those act as your vents. Uh, big difference for me and what I really like. Handles for your damn slides. So you don't have fingerprints all over the damn glass. Now, this is not glass, this is polycarbonate. Uh, a lot of these systems comes, come with the acrylic glass panels or acrylic panels and I'll show you here in a minute what difference that is the acrylic panels once you slide them over time the uh, more you clean them they get real cloudy and they show the scratches real easy as far as I know the polycarbonate does not do that these do not warp with high humidity and high temperatures like the acrylic does I do prefer glass and I think he is going to eventually offer that as an option which we've talked this morning and hopefully he will decide to do that. I really like the, the glass, but with that said, these aren't gonna break. So maybe he's onto something and I'm not. Um, this is just a basic model. I didn't really go into a lot of options. I didn't get his heat. Uh, I didn't get his lighting. I'm gonna be doing that all by myself. Uh, he uses Reptile Basics uh, heat, or radiant heat panels. I use pro products. I really like the pro product product. So that's what I'm going to be using in here. Now, as far as the enclosure itself, all of these joints on the bottom are all sealed with a chemical bonding glue. So with that glue used on these bottom panels, it's automatically waterproof. 
so you don't have to worry about silicone in it when you get it. One thing about silicone, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I use a scraper, a metal scraper to get up the urates on the uh, bottoms of the enclosures. Works really good, you gotta get those urates up, but when you get onto the sides, you're actually gonna scrape that silicone up. And that's kind of a pain in the butt to me. So this right here is chemically bonded, it's all waterproof, done. You don't have to worry about scraping up silicone, you don't have to worry about scratching or scratching the, the sealant on the corners. These here, these panels on the inside, uh, they are actually routed into the top, bottom, and side panels. So that creates a, a much better seal as far as waterproofing or it won't move. A lot of companies will cut these out and then screw into the sides. These are all routed in, so it's gonna be a much better fit. Now with that said, the only panel that you can remove on these is the top panel. Those are not glued in. Reason for that, you can take this top panel off, take out the screws on the top, take it off, put your radiant heat panel, your light system. You can actually uh, dig a little thing on the back panel, a little divot to run your cables through. You don't have to drill through it. And then the cool thing about that is with it being routed, when you set this top panel back down and you set it down into the groove, all your holes line up. So it's not, you're not gonna crack your panels by drilling new holes or have to pre-drill. Really like that aspect. They all have the plastic track, the plastic along with the polycarbonate makes for a real easy slide. They all have standard locks. I really like this lock system. Um, from what I've seen so far, if you do it right, all right, that's not going to go out of there. The reason I really like that is two nights ago, not last night, the night before, uh, if you've seen my breeding video, you saw the size of my uh, golden child tiger. He's about 11, 10, 10 or 11 feet. Um, he got out two nights ago. It's the first time that I've had a snake get out in the 24 years that I've been doing this. So, yeah, shame on me. Anyway, to have an 11-footer running loose in your basement, uh, my basement holds the uh, litter boxes for my two cats. So, guess what that could have ended up like? Luckily, I still have two cats, which, thank you, but I did find them on the uh, back side of my 10 enclosures all the way at the bottom, which I can't just slide my enclosures out, so I had to kind of poke and prod at them to get them out. So uh, we went and bought locks for the glass, and uh, just thankfully, I went to pick these up this morning, and they had locks on them, so I was very thankful. That was really a long way to get back to why these are important. Lock your slides, guys. I was using the wood wedges, with the acrylic, it works really good. It kind of wedges in there. They, they kind of bow a little bit, and it, and it makes it really hard to slide. And that actually happened with vision cages. Glass, vision cages, metal track. I had the wedge in there. Apparently, I didn't have it tight enough. And he was shedding, so he just kind of was rubbing his body up against the glass, opened it up. So when I come down here at 5 in the morning after my cats woke me up and said, hey, dude, we really have to use the bathroom, but you got something going on in the basement you need to check out. Uh, I found out that, yes, I actually indeed had a giant python running around my basement. So, lesson learned. 24 years, one snake escape. I think that's pretty good odds. Anyway, back to the enclosures. Guys, I really do like this product. Um, let me give you a close look at the inside. You can see... Let me open this up so we don't get a glare. And it might take me a little while to get used to this key. All right, there, no glare. You can see the vent system is the TGR logo, which is the tall grass. This thing looks really good, guys. Uh, you can see at the top, the screws. Just take those screws out. You can pull that top piece off, put your heat panel, put your lighting, and then it falls right down into the routed spot. 
and you can just put your screws back in. Really like that part of it. All right. Now, if you guys have any questions at all, if, uh, if there's anything I can help you with, I'll be glad to do it. Like I say, there'll be a link in the, pro in the description below. You can go ahead and use a code for 5% off your purchase. This guy's a great guy. He's got a really good system going on. Like I said, his racks are phenomenal, so I know for a fact he's going to do very well on his enclosures. Uh, TGR rack systems out of Coleman, Alabama. I think it's actually listed under Vinemont, Alabama. But uh, lucky for me, that was only 15 minutes away. So I didn't have to pay shipping. But anyway, the prices on these are a little bit higher, but I think that it's going to pay off in the long run. One of the key things... What's your wait time on animal plastics? They say 12. I think I waited 13, close to 14 weeks for when I ordered. It might be different now, but you figure 12 to 14 weeks, this guy's pumping them out in about four. So, a lot quicker delivery time. They are shipped uh, assembled. You'll have to get with him as far as the shipping rate and the prices, but uh, check out the link in the description. If there's any questions, unbiased questions that you want asked, give me a shout. I'll be glad to ask them for you or answer them for you. So, TGR Rack Systems, enclosures, new to the game. I think he's going to do very well, guys. All these keys are the same. So, you only need one set. I think he gave me four or five. But all of the key, the key works on all of them. So, no problem there. You don't have to keep up with a bunch of keys. You don't have to leave a key dangling in here because you don't want to confuse it with another key. They're all the same. It's just a really good locking system. I will keep you posted as to later on down the road if this starts to show uh, any kind of scratching or cloudiness or anything. I don't think so because my bow file has the uh, polycarbonate and I don't get a lot of scratches on it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and uh, peace out.